All right, welcome to a quick video on <clears throat> the hardest time trial ever, apparently, according to Alex Dowsett. So this is, if we look at the profile, uphill, basically. So from here, uh, it was about an 8K climb, more or less, a little bit of up and down, but it was a very, very hilly course. Um, 349 meters of elevation and 14 kilometers, pretty brutal. So then you can see here, Alex Dowsett's power, um, 429 weight to average power. We also actually have some very special thing. Kuhn Bauman, I just realized, has actually deleted his power, but I still got a Strava up, so you can still have a cheeky look at his old power. Um, the young lad is very, very, very skinny, um, and he did 360 watts and won the team time trial. Uh, the times are out a little bit. I think Lola Anuyama maybe did 20 seconds more, but they're more or less, you know, the difference will be the same. Um, so anyway, we can see his power curve here, pretty smooth, 358 watts um, for 19 minutes. So that's 5.7 watts per kilo for 19 minutes, 25 on his time trial bike, mid, mid stage uh, with a lot of surges. So that is pretty crazy. Like, I mean, very crazy. And you can see here at the beginning, Cohen Bauman didn't do as much work potentially, and then at this part here, he really did a lot more power. Pioneer do seem to have these little spikes, as you can see here. A lot of the a lot of NL Yumbo riders do have it, um, but you can see this this power. The um the course is pretty like smooth. There's only this bit here where they really decelerate. The rest of it's pretty rolling. Um, like in terms of there's no corners or anything. It's not very technical. Um, but obviously it's very technical in terms of pacing. Uh, a lot of teams just blew up and just didn't have the enough riders and you could definitely see the difference between a continental rider and like the world tour the world tour on those corn like the beginning corners they were so smooth like this corner here like the continental riders were all stretched out everywhere team sky lot and yumbo they were so close to each other and like they, the guy didn't surge out the corner i think he actually swung off most of them they would swing off so they'd go around the corner they'd swing off and then the speed would be like they'd ramp it up anyway so then for the guy on the back they're not killing themselves but anyway, it's pretty nuts how um, how much power these does. Alex Dows at 420 watts. And again, Dows said this is very hard. He was just crying. He was basically the fourth strongest rider. So if you're the strongest rider in a team time trial, especially uphill, it's not going to be too hard because at the end, you're not going max. Um, because obviously, when it's, if it was flat, you'd be going max because the other guys would draft. But on this, because it's uphill, you can't go max. So if you're like the fourth strongest, then everyone else is like going at their level and you just have to ride max the whole time. So you can see this last bit for Dowsett, 430 watts for the last six minutes, 50. Um, and Dowsett weighs about 78 kilos or so. Um, so we can get the old mathematicals out. It's about, um, about six watts per kilo, a little less than six watts per kilo. But I guess the thing with Dowsett is like, um, he's just good at the team time trials. So you can see 5.75 watts per kilo for 450 watts. Um, so yeah, it was quite a lot less than I guess than six watts per kilo. It was more like five five and a half watts per kilo. But I mean, it's on these team time trials. Even though it was quite uphill, most of the thing is watts and being aero and douse it is so aero, like ridiculously aero. Um, but yeah, it's pretty good data. You can see uh, old Yash Sutland did four hundred thirty five watts. Epo, uh in the same team, Seppel Vader did three hundred thirty three watts. Um, just because he's so much lighter than um, Yasha Sutland. Um, and we can see some of the other guys here. Team GB did a pretty solid right. Ian Hayter, 376 watts. Have race against the old lad, I think, back in the day. Um, and I've done a track race against him. He's a very fast bloke. Ben Swift was crying a little bit. Lost some time at the end. He was shouting a lot because they were just dropping him, um, which maybe wasn't the best. Gabs Calais, 456 watts. That might be some fake news. We will have an investigation on his power, but that does seem a little high. But anyway, we can see basically for 20 minutes, these guys can do like 400 watts more or less, depending on their weight. So the average pro basically can do about 400 watts in this, um, or 400 watts or about five and a half, five point seven 5.7 watts per kilo, more or less, something around that sort of level. Um, for, yeah, 20 minutes in a team time trial mid-stage race, which is absolutely nuts. Um, yeah, so we can see Gab's colleague, 456 watts. It does seem very high. But you never know. Yeah, I think his power is overeating. What do you think? 600 watts for 53 seconds in a midway during a TT. He's going 34 k's an hour up 9%. Maybe, I don't know. I think he might. I think it might be overeating a little bit, though, because I don't really believe he can do these sort of huge efforts um, and be doing 480 watts for 47 seconds. Maybe he is. Maybe he is outrageously strong. Uh, we'll check on some kudos, but potentially a bit of overreading. But anyway, it doesn't really matter that much. You can see roughly what you need to be doing for the ballpark. Um, but the heart rate was also very low, 155 beats a minute for Yash Sutland. That's not very much. Like, I mean, I maybe his max isn't as high, but that's that does show the fatigue of the race. Like, people's heart rate doesn't get as high when they're super, super fatigued. Um, so yeah, Yash Sutland again, um, 430 watts. Has some pretty decent ones, but you can see it's not as smooth. 500 watts for a minute. I mean, this is like... 
probably on the front, 40 kilometers an hour, two and a half percent gradient. If we look at the climb, um, which is, uh, where is it? Uh, yeah, this one, so the last two miles, basically, which is 3.2 kilometers, um, oh wait, hang on a minute, because it's 2.7 anyway, um, 472 watts, 40 kilometers an hour for 3% gradient, so that is pretty solid. Um, again, so they really were hitting it. Some people didn't have TT bikes, I think that was in a lot of Continental, well, some Continental teams didn't, but that was due to budget, not any options. TT bikes can be faster unless it's above 6%, really, for these guys, um, especially a team time trial. So yeah, I hope you did enjoy this little vid on the old Tour of Britain. I would, I would give some race footage, but you know, it's just gonna get taken down. So there's just absolutely no point. Old Greipel again, 456 watts. That does seem more reasonable because Greipel, I know it does have an FTP of about 450 watts. That is the rumor. But anyway, cheers for watching. Hope you did enjoy it and I'll see you in the next vid.